Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Aries. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Aries and it will not resonate with every Aries cross watcher. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Aries or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right, guys. What's going on with my Aries Collective and what do they need to know at this time, Spirit? What do they need to know at this time? I want to move this a little bit. Move this over too. <laughs> Just my OCD, guys. All right. So, what is going on with my Aries Collective? Message for the Aries Collective. All right. All right. So, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, clarify the Ten of Cups. All right, we have two that one to come out. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. The Devil in reverse. Alright, and we have the Six of Swords. So with the Queen of Cups, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here with the High Priestess, Priestess and the Hanged Man. We have heavy Pisces energy here. Capricorn energy here with the Devil. Alright, we have the Eight of Wands on the back of the deck. So their overall energy for this is that there's some type of, something is about to either progress, there's about to be some type of action taken here, some type of communication that's going to come in, something is about to change kind of out of the blue, or something is going to start progressing or moving along here. And it could be somebody, you know, you receiving communication from someone. All right. So there is some type of union relationship here that is kind of blocked right now or it's delayed or it could be because someone's not make up, making up their mind about something there's like some type of blockage to this relationship coming together Yeah, there's blockages galore here. Somebody feels sorry here. Somebody wants to make peace here or they want to they they want to make amends. They want to reconcile resolve things, but They could be doubtful that you're going to take them back. I feel like this person, somebody's not listening to their intuition, but somebody could be doubtful or there's confusion here. There's no clarity. Somebody could just be not listening to their intuition and very doubtful that this is something that can maybe be resolved. There was definitely some type of breakup here. At some point, this could have been harmonious, but there was definitely a breakup here. Um, and I definitely see someone's trying to recover from this. And you guys can maybe even be in. This was definitely something toxic. You feel like you you guys were dealing with a very codependent in a, a codependent situation or a codepe codependent person. 
um, a person, a situation where you were giving too much to somebody that they weren't giving to you in the same way. A very insecure person. This definitely was like a codependent relationship. And I definitely see you guys trying to leave this behind now. And that could be, let's see. Nine. Of, so I see you guys actually moving towards being very stable on your own. I see you guys being very abundant, self-sufficient, knowing your worth here. I see your money looking good. There's this person that's not happy that things have ended between the two of you. But I also don't see this person. I feel like this person is optimistic that you will come towards them. They're very confident that you will come towards them. They're waiting for you here. They're waiting for you to make the decision to come towards them. But this is going to actually result in this person possibly missing an opportunity because I don't feel like you guys are going to take action towards them. They're not happy about this ending. It has it definitely hurts them. Um, they definitely feel lonely without you. Yeah, somebody's about to miss an opportunity here. Like this had the potential to move towards the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness and fulfillment. But I feel like you're going to continue to isolate yourself from this person. Somebody's about to get consequences for their actions. So, Spirit, tell me more about why did this situation end? Why did this come to an end? Oh, somebody was refusing to make some changes. Yeah, somebody was not making some changes here. And they were stagnant. They weren't trying to, like, progress anything here. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. Oh, it's, this could have been somebody putting you in a third party situation. But for others of you, this person was clinging to their independence. They did not. They were they were being noncommittal. They were not putting sufficient time and energy into this. Time more about tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Okay, tell me more about the Page of Swords. Oof. Yeah, you guys caught this person doing something. They've been caught. This is a very charming person. This person knows how to talk their way out of things. They're very manipulative. All right, this person, you guys found out something here. Some type of secrets were revealed here. Especially with the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. There was some type of secrets revealed here, possibly about a third party, some type of scandal. They do regret this though, but tell me more about what this deception was. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. What was the deception? All right, what's this mean for Aries? This person was maybe telling you that they were committed to you. They were telling you to be patient with them. They were telling you that maybe they were ready for something. That they had recovered or that they had healed from something. Somebody maybe told you that they were ready for something that they really weren't ready for. Somebody really needed to needs to heal.
They were trying to progress this slower than you would have liked. This person could have also been trying to be, they, they did, they were out for their own selfish. Yeah, they had, they were very selfish. They could have been in this for money. You're dealing with a very um insecure, self-absorbed, greedy person. What's this mean for Aries? It's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, waiting for your ships to. You, this person kept you waiting for something. You were waiting for them to do something. You were waiting for some type of result. What's this mean for this person? For growth in this connection. Okay, and what are they? What's this mean for this person? I don't know what they did. Completion. Yeah, they manipulated the hell out of you. They told you that they wanted to be a team. They told you that they wanted the same things as you. They told me that they chose you. Like they, 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 they told you that they wanted this. They loved you. They felt a deep connection to you. Um, why is the, I definitely see that they manipulated you. Like they, they, they didn't follow through false promises. Okay, guys, that's what I'm getting from this. They created an illusion. They made you believe the illusion. What is the Queen of Swords? How does the Queen of Swords relate to Aries? Okay, too many cards. How does the Queen of Swords relate to Aries? Yeah. You got this situation made you very unhappy. You guys tried to stay optimistic though. Why the world here? Why is the world here? You got a cycle closed out between you and this person because you were able to see things clearly. I feel like you guys started being honest with yourselves and you're like, you know what? I'm not happy. This isn't what I want. This isn't what he or he or she told me things would be like. So I feel like you guys maybe started setting boundaries with this person or you are, that's what you're doing. You maybe communicate it to this person that you're not happy. This isn't what you wanted. Um, maybe you started feeling like, you know, things weren't going to work out between you and this person. I definitely feel like you guys closed out a cycle because you guys gained clarity about something. It's like this person that you want them to be and the the way you want this relationship to be is very much blocked, okay? This could be something that Spirit is saying that you're trying to force to come together right now, but Spirit is saying that the timing isn't right. For some of you, this person just agreed to all these things because they were trying to avoid conflict. They were trying to keep the peace. They didn't want there to be conflict or disagreement between you and this person. They didn't want you to leave them. Oh, so they, they yeah, there's that manipulation energy. They didn't want you to leave them. They didn't want to have a fight with you. They didn't want to have conflict. But I definitely see that this was not, I mean, you're dealing with a very immature person, somebody that's not ready for this. And it's going to result in this person missing an opportunity or, a, it's, you know, something that did have the potential to lead to something harmonious and happy. It's not going to get there. All right. Um. So what does this mean for Aries? What does this mean for Aries? Yeah, it's like something about the true release. It's like something about, tell me more. What is the moon in reverse? So the spirit is saying that um, you have a decision to make or you did have a decision to make. You guys maybe were afraid to walk away from this or make a decision about this person. But I feel like whatever this clarity or the secrets that are about to be revealed is going to make your choice a lot easier. Okay, tell me more. You're going to have to make a decision for sure. But why are the Eight of Cups in reverse, though? 
Some of you guys are afraid. Okay, what's this Eight of Wands? What's going to happen here? I still think you guys are thinking that this person is going to change, but I'm just letting you guys know unfortunately i'm seeing some of you guys taking this person back or maybe even not walking away from this or returning to this because of a lack of self-worth I'm, I'm just seeing that here spirit is really wanting you to know your worth here they're revealing something to you or they're going to reveal something to you about this person in this situation all right um i see you guys also afraid of walking away from this afraid of change um I still think you guys are expecting this person to change. I see stu stuck energy here. And I also see this person trying to take control, like to maintain control over you. This person has a big ego. It's something that they're, so tell me about the emperor in reverse. Man I told you manipulation. Just know, guys, this person's a really good manipulator. This person is a blockage for you. This person's going to, they mess up your focus. Um, they're going to keep you from achieving certain things, okay? They're going to block certain blessings and things that you would like to achieve in your life from happening if you continue to engage in this. Because this is going to continue to be imbalanced. You and this person are going to continue to not be on the same page. But there's definitely a lack of self-worth here. Okay, guys? So Spirit is really wanting you to work on that. And they're really wanting you to think this through. I see that insecurity or codependency is maybe going to keep you from moving on from a situation. Leaving something behind that you really need to. I don't see you guys walking away from this. I see this person manipulating you. But this is warning you ahead of time, okay, that this person is going to come in with some really good manipulation. Some They're going to be really trying to sweet talk you. Um, I definitely see you guys having a fear of walking away from this person. A fear of being alone. Don't let that keep you in a toxic situation. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have probably already walked away from, but this person's going to come in with the manipulation tactics because I do see them waiting for you to come back to them. All right. And I feel like you guys maybe aren't going to do it or you're not going to do it as fast as they would like. So they're going to come in with the manipulation tactics, but there's something here. Maybe you guys are starting to, you know, release your fear. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Rejection, false start delays blocks and what does this mean for Aries the three of cups in reverse I do see you guys successfully freeing yourself from this okay I do feel like there could be a third party in, in the mix here but I do feel like um, you guys are going to end up releasing that fear. But I still feel like you might go back into this with this person. Are they going to go back into this? What's going to happen here? Mm. I definitely see this person communicating with you, trying to make amends with you. Telling you that you can trust them. That they're ready, but they're being selfish, guys. I'm letting you know. I definitely see you. I don't see you guys taking action towards them first. I do see them eventually taking action towards you because they're tired of waiting for you. And they're going to try to come in and sweet talk you. Okay, so this is your warning. 
I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.